Mr. Camping promised us a rapture. He promised us the return of Jesus Christ on May 21st, 2011. What did we get? Well, what did we get? We got a big, fat nothing. Nothing. But when I think of all the millions of dollars it took to power the caravans of huge, gas-guzzling vehicles parading across the country from city to city with all of their extravagantly painted messages explaining that the Judgment Day is here and that the Lord is coming. And when I think of all the thousands upon thousands of dollars spent on those giant billboards strewn across the landscape telling us of the words of the last days here on earth. And when I think of all of the money it took for all of the radio ads and all of the promotional material provided to announce Harold Camping's return of the Lord. But now, now that it's come and gone, just what do we have to show for it? Nothing. All because of one man's insistence that he had God's divine plan all figured out. We could have used that money, Mr. Camping. We could have used that money to feed some poor people. We could have used that money to put clothes on the homeless. We could have used that money for education. We could have given it to some schools to enhance or to even just start a program for music or sports. We could have used it to give some hope to those who are less fortunate than ourselves. But we didn't. It's just as if we had taken all those dollars and sank them down to the bottom of the sea, never to be seen again. And all for what? For one man's inflated idea of himself and his importance and of his ability to unravel God's divine plan.